October is National Movie Month, when the best of the newest movies will be shown at your favorite theater. Join the world and share the romance, color, adventure, hilarity, excitement, and splendor that spell movies during National Movie Month. Be here in October. It's National Movie Month. Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 16 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the Motion Picture Code of Self-Regulation. at the corner of 150th Street and 7th Avenue, in the heart of Harlem, it began. Golden stallions, Brahma bulls and black cowboys rode proudly through the streets. And the people of Harlem stood amazed. For they were about to learn that black cowboys can bust Bronx rope cattle, wrestle steers, and ride bulls as well as any man who ever lived. Maybe better. Step back on his arm. You woo! I mean, we were out in the West too. You don't, you never see it on TV, but uh, we were out there. We helped put it together. Muhammad Ali was there. I said you crazy. Yeah, you crazy. And I'm a bad nigga. I heard you gunned down wild earth. You ready? Oh! I'm not no switch no pointy with you, but we got one. You ain't as dumb as you look. <laughs> Woody Strode was there. The first time that the blacks didn't run in to say, boss, the Indians are coming. And now you can be there too. Black Rodeo is now a movie with music by Aretha Franklin. B.B. Yeah, yeah, King. Yeah, you get off of my back, baby. Can't you tell you're choking me? Ray Charles. Unchain my heart. Unchain my heart. Baby, let me be. And Little Richard. Oh, my soul. If nobody ever told you they were black cowboys, see. It's the police! It's the police! Who the hell is that? It's the police! The police! We're the police! Somebody a little bigger than you, but, uh... 5'8". No, no, I mean, you know, husky. Hey, guys! 
stop, please. Is this normal stakeout procedure? Get your hand up, my. What do you mean, we're inept? Jesus, the mayor's mansion. Catering. Look, you did it again. The Knesha's dry, crumble. You a hustler? No. We break hustlers' arms. Throw them down the stairs. Just the arms of the whole hustler. Kill. Kill, Randall. Come on, kill, you silly son of a... Now on the boat. How can we get on the boat? He gave me five bucks to bring it over here. What do you look like? A bald headed guy with a thing in his ear. Everything connected? Connected? Set to go off at two o'clock. Came out rather well, don't you think? Excellent. Come across the bridge. Who are we chasing? I don't You can see it. It will be a dangerous trip, and I don't know what we're likely to encounter out there. But someone has got to save the Earth from the treacherous clutches of that evil ray. Sure. Why not? We'll give it a try. Blast off with Flesh Gordon in his cosmic crusade against all evil. <laughs> the unbelievable, death-defying feats of that most remarkable superhero of them all, Flesh Gordon. Journey with Flesh Gordon through the dangerous outer reaches of intergalactic space as he joins forces with the mysterious professor and the lovely Dale Arder to save the Earth from the incredible sex ray. It's so strange in here. Flesh, it almost looks alive. Flesh Gordon, the preposterous, be swept away to the dazzling heights of astonishment as you enter worlds unknown. I'm Prince Precious, rightful heir to the throne of porno. Ah! What is it? A floor! It's opening! Join Flesh Gordon as the crafty Emperor Wang unleashes the forces of interstellar tyranny against him in a hundred mind-boggling adventures. Flesh Gordon. Look! An outrageous parody of yesteryear's superhero. It's the eighth wonder of the world. Oh, boy. Not to be confused with the original Flash Gordon. Cameron Mitchell starring in Rebel Rouse. Featuring Academy Award nominee Jack Nicholson of Easy Rider. Co-starring Bruce Dern and Diane Lamb. Men with no conscience, they drifted where the winds of lust carried them. The Rebel Rousers, a pack of ravaging man-wolves, ripped the scar of terror across the face of our nation. They had but one dream. If it feels good, do it! With the unbridled passion of men possessed, they blasted their way through all opposition in a campaign of sensual self-indulgence that left nothing but burned-out shells of humanity strewn in their path. Offspring of fire melting machines of destruction, they ripped through life at mind-searing speeds. Hard as steel with the strength of madness, they were fit honor guards to their goddess of evil. Conquerors with no mercy, 
the rebel rousers laid waste to the flesh and blood of America's daughters and destroyed each other in their insane race to nowhere. Cameron Mitchell starring in Rebel Rousers with Bruce Dern and Diane Ladd featuring Jack Nicholson of Easy Riders. A Paragon International picture Eastman color a four-star Excelsior release rated R. Class of 1984, their only goal is power. I run this school, man. If you want to survive around here, you have got to learn to look the other way. I am the future. I am the future. I am the future. Somebody's got to stop this insanity. If they are the future, who will stop them? Class of 1984, rated R. What time is it? America, 1957. It was howdy duty time and rock and roll was king. You cruising for a bruising sign? You want a mouthful of bloody chicklets? And Melvin and the rock and roll rebels were wanted for bank robbery, kidnapping, bigamy, and 57 violations of the traffic code. Crazy Mama! Drop those guns, lady! Crazy Mama! Rated PG. are condemned to death sport. In the year 3000, there are no Olympic Games, World Series, or Super Bowls. There is only death sport. <laughs> David Carradine and Claudia Jennings are super warriors. I am my only master. Lovers, imprisoned and separated with only one chance for survival. Death sport, rated R. The Swappers is a motion picture of today, an expose of a permissive age. The Swappers is a film that looks behind the closed doors of respectable communities and into a world where marriage vows are merely licensed for a new type of fun and games. The Swappers is a motion picture that tells and shows it like it is. Due to the subject matter of this film and the authenticity of the scenes depicted, we are unable to show any segments of The Swappers to a general audience. The producers of The Swappers have not compromised in bringing to the screen the raw realities of a moral revolution that threatens to destroy traditional concepts of love and marriage. Don't miss The Swappers. It shows what happens when you love thy neighbor just a little too much. By the way, how are things in your neighborhood? A Trans-American Films release rated R. Nature strikes back in tidal wave. The most destructive natural force on Earth. First came the earthquake, crushing whole cities. Then raging firestorms, destroying thousands. But the worst is yet to come. That wave hits 80 million people will be wiped out. Tidal wave, rated PG. Wanted in a woman. My name is Inga, and you have seen me before. I was just 16 then, but today is a different story. The seduction of Inga. The brand new misadventures of the girl who has shocked you before. Grown up and wilder than ever. Inga, wanting the love of one man. Rolf! You damn well better get this straight. You're not just another little tramp to me, you're something special. Inga, hungering for the arms of her father. You want me? Do something for me. Come, baby, don't be afraid. I want to make you sorry. Take it off, you rotten little guy. Take it off. Inga is back in a totally new and shocking story. Inga, seeing everything. 
Inga, experiencing everything. Starring Marie Liliadal in the seduction of Inga. Everything you ever wanted in a woman. Worldwide films, William Larabier and Richard K. present Black Fist, 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 Fist. His ring was the street. You know where he's coming from. Where'd you get this money? Okay. I ran into a cat today who is really together. He's gonna turn me out as a fighter. <laughs> you and Ali. No, not that kind of fight. What other kind is it? I could take your ass in right now, you know that? Hey, man, I mean, why muscle me? Why don't you go after the big boys, boss Charlie? I'm gonna pretend like you didn't say that. This is, uh, this is just between you and me. <laughs> I dig. Uh, if I want to keep street fighting, uh, I have to help the underpaid piggy with the necktie pay his dues, right? You got it. Half of everything he gets from dumb heads like you and me, he splits back with Logan. All I ever wanted to do in life was not to have to kiss Whitey's ass. Amen. You understand? Amen. And when I thought I had got there, I thought the raw fist was gonna be somebody. Be somebody. Be somebody. Be somebody. Yeah. No jive ass nigger's gonna make a fool out of me. I want him hit. Turns out the man he had hit was Leroy. Yeah, it was his uh, his brother-in-law. And the uh, the other body in the car that was Leroy's wife. See? Anything, anything like that has to be authorized. You know it. Please. Get out of here! You're gonna have to turn my stomach. Please. Earl, I'll squeeze this dry clean off. Okay. Give me a break! Give me a break! Give me a break! You wanna break? Give me a break! We going for a ride! Leroy's hot and the mob's burning. Starring Richard Lawson as Leroy Fisk. Also starring Anazette Chase, Philip Michael Thomas. Coming soon, don't miss Black Fist. It'll knock you out. Music soundtrack distributed by Janus Records GRT Tapes. A Worldwide Films Corporation release. cat or dog because they eat too much. Little kids bore the pants off me, and when I go to a ball game, I root for the visitors. I never cried at a wedding or a funeral. I never sent a Christmas card, and I cheated my wife, if I had the time. But I've got one soft spot. A man is innocent until proven guilty. The Lawyer. night it's an american tradition that belongs to anyone who loves competition it's freedom fun and fine transportation you find it happening all over the nation but the greatest cruising in the land takes place on the street where it all began 
Crown International Pictures presents Van Nuys Boulevard. The motion picture that brings together the most beautiful bodies in America for a night of mutual admiration. Hi, are you driving me? Moon and Bobby, Greg and Camille, Wanda the car hop. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Make your clothes on. And the man who calls Van Nuys Boulevard his permanent address. Is that who I think it was? The Chooch. Great. Hey, nobody calls Chooch a creep, man. What? Nobody calls Chooch a creep, man. Don't be a hero. Van Nuys Boulevard, where the whole year feels like a summer vacation. Okay, the flag is up. Go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the theater audience, we interrupt this advertisement to bring you the total destruction of two automobiles. Van Nuys Boulevard. Climbs of a championship. You think you ought to get up first? Will you just shut up? Ah. Let me right. In the 30s, these men won the respect of the boxing world. That was really stink. Shake the trainer had all the surprise punches. This is a surprise. Bags was his experienced fighter. He's on your foot! He had the desire, concentration, and direct aim. It took rigid conditioning. Bags was proud to stand on his own two feet. Could they avoid loose women who followed the fight game? Oh, get away from me, you little slimy, mole-faced degenerate. Before I step on your creepy body and squash you with the rest of the slugs around this thumb. Oh, would you like to dance? Can they win for the kid who built a dream around them? You think you can take the butcher? Bluebird Blue. One person stood in their way, the butcher. It's the clown that creased my perfect face. Can Bags take the champ? Just gonna leave that ring on a stretcher. Follow these punching pals to the title bout. What murder out there? What's she doing in here? You're in the wrong corner. They all have signs. Tim Conway, Don Knotts, starring in The Prize Fighter, a knockout comedy. So together, let's begin it, and I will be there with you.
Meet the Dirty Dolls of Devil's Island. Women in Cages, the sensational new motion picture that rips the veil off the dirtiest racket ever conceived by the minds of vicious men. No one escapes from my prison. No one! <laughs> Women in Cages, starring Judy Brown, Pam Greer, Roberta Collins, Jennifer Gann, and many, many others. Innocent young girls held in cruel bondage. You'll meet them all in Women in Cages, in color rated R. Magazine says, Pigeons is a rarity about youth but oriented to people. It is, in fact, a youth version of Five Easy Pieces. Its non hero is Jonathan. I used to be with the circus. I can't help it. Jonathan, as beautifully portrayed by Jordan Christopher, is about 10 years younger than the Jack Nicholson character. Jonathan's a Princeton graduate. He works as a cab driver. Why? I want to show the world the back of my neck. John Dexter, the brilliant British director, like John Schlesinger before him, has cast an English eye on New York City. Dexter probes not the lower depths that engulf the midnight cowboy, but the middle and upper levels. Don't worry about the sofa. I'll buy your mother another one. Dexter has paced his film beautifully and interestingly. You'll find pigeons very funny, very sad, and very satisfying. Would you respect me if I slept with you right away? Yes. Listen to what Wanda Hale of the New York Daily News says. Pigeons is beautiful full of natural humor and merciless humor. I'm not a Catholic. Listen to what Archer Winston of the New York Post says. 
Director John Dexter has brought fresh English eyes to New York City. Everyone you see is resolutely out of the ordinary, heightened, far out. Without seeming to try, it's an original. Quite the young rebel, huh? No, 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 sir, I'm not rebelling. I'm just earning an easy living, that's all, sir. Pigeons, starring Jordan Christopher, Jill O'Hara, Robert Walden, Lois Nettleton, Bonnie Enton, William Redfield, Kate Reed, Elaine Stritch, Melba Moore. In 1969, it was Midnight Cowboy. In 1970, it was Five Easy Pieces. In 1971, Pigeons. Two films, she sniffed me my fee on both of them. Want me to do hardcore with her husband? Pass on. I hope I'm satisfactory. What are you gonna be, a smut maker? I'm sorry, honey. Notice, notice her hair, Pete. Oh, we're gonna make a movie! <laughs> I don't want to die. You should have thought of that before, Susie. Before you ripped my son out of you. seat. Hold on to your date. Hold on to your popcorn. The ultimate 3D movie is about to blast off. Space Hunter. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. The first 3D space movie. Starring Peter Strauss as Wolf, an intergalactic adventurer. And Molly Ringwald as Nikki. What the hell are you? What do you think I am, you scry nerd? Together, they must enter the deadly forbidden zone <laughs> and rescue three beautiful women from the planet's ultimate evil, the Overdog. I like her. Works every time. I'll bet breeding with us would kill him. I'll take that bet. Columbia Pictures presents an adventure unlike anything you've ever witnessed before. A whole new dimension in excitement. The ultimate 3D experience. The first movie that puts you in outer space. Space Hunter. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. In 3D. and Henry, the roughest, meanest pack of bikers to come down the road since the boys in the band. What in the hell is this? 
It's a maiden form, and it's mine. Give it to me. Package. What? The Pink Angels, a different kind of motion picture about a different kind of motorcycle gang. Behind the denims and black leather jackets, sugar and spice and everything nice. I see America, she's just around the bend. The Star Spangled Banner. You know, Arnie, I never knew my dad. I have a six. How come? He was always in drag. <laughs> Where you men headed? Down the coast. Los Angeles? Yeah, LA. And what are you gonna do there? Ball. What? Okay, hold it right there, fella. What did you have in mind, fancy pants? <laughs> Nothing I'd like more than to nail a few of those long-haired bastards. The Pink Angels. They rode a lonely road marked detour through a straight world. A world that wouldn't allow them to survive. Hi. Where's your broads? The joy's got a matter of points. Pays a rejoice. Oh, would you like ten pounds of dangling fury? Black hood boys and spouse are gonna sing in a while. Black is not only beautiful, it's good. Don't miss the Pink Angels, hard riders wearing a size 10 dress. Once upon a time, that hasn't happened yet, there will be a spaceship called the infinity and steering the infinity among the heavenly bodies will be the most heavenly body of them all called galaxina a dream machine transistorized and computerized to lead her space buddies across the farthest reaches of fantastic adventure with class venusian thunder ripple 2001 great year great galaxina the beautiful. Galaxina, the untouchable. <laughs> Galaxina, the invincible. She cleans. She cooks. She, can she does windows and more. I've adjusted my temperature. I'm better than a human woman. What year is it? 3,035. I got 3,033. This thing's slow. It's party time on the planets with the beautiful people of the intergalactic jet set. <laughs> well, at least you're not two-faced. Well, you wouldn't have chosen the one you've got on. Tension to the fourth dimension as they dodge death rays across the universe. <laughs> Good guys, bad guys, nice aliens. Mommy! Look at it. Huh? <laughs> it will be my day <laughs> Nasty aliens. The name's Mr. Spot. Galaxina, starring Stephen Mock, Avery Shriver, James David Hinton, and introducing Dorothy R. Stratton, Playboy's Playmate of the Year, as your favorite gal, Galaxina. Ladies and gentlemen, an important announcement from Academy Award-winning actor, Mr. George Kennedy. One very serious point. Lawnmowers do not kill people. People kill people. Wacko, wacko, wacko! 
At last, a motion picture made by, for, and about people just like you and me. <laughs> times have I told you this is not a toy? Oh, there was a phone message for you. Oh, wow. From Norman? Oh, wow. He didn't say. Oh, come on, Mom. What did he say? Well, at first he goes, uh, your daughter's gonna die tonight. Then he says, um... <laughs> Oh, wow. Far out. Police business? Might have a few words with you. I'll never forget the first time I saw your father. If I'm rambling on too much, <laughs> just let me know. Oh, uh, not at all. <laughs> Wacko, wacko, wacko. At last, the motion picture made by, for, and about people just like you and me. Time for slow annihilation. Eight states wanted from jail. Six torture victims wanted from jail. All the sadomaniacs wanted was one more night for the most brutal orgy in the history. Took a bunch of young kids and turned them into a cult of savage blessings. Sadomaniacs wanted to see what made the beautiful people so they took them apart. The Ninja, born of a 400-year-old tradition, trained in the most exquisite subtleties of combat. The Ninja must be as wise as he is all-powerful. For if ever a Ninja gives himself over to the dark side of his art, the destruction is terrifying and absolute. Revenge of the Ninja. Starring martial arts master Sho Kosugi and his son Kane Kosugi, six-year-old world karate champion. When he came to America, he put aside his weapons. I will not follow the way of the ninja. But he could not put aside his destiny as a warrior. And now, destiny has come searching for him. Two warriors. One in the service of evil. One bound by honor and vengeance. Must fight to the death. Because only a ninja can kill a ninja. Revenge of the Ninja. The great martial arts explosion of the 80s comes to America with full force.
five beautiful girls set out on a swinging summer that turns into a chilling nightmare of terror. Which ones will die? The roommates, luscious, lovable, tantalizing, terrific, absolutely sensational. The roommates, they share more than their rooms. Do you ever think of anything but sex? No, I don't think so. Boy, you felt like a brick. <laughs> The roommates. Which ones are targets for a killer? The roommates. Rated R. Did you ever hear the words blue sunshine back in school? I remember. Sunshine. Did you ever hear the words Blue Sunshine? Try to remember. Your life may depend on it. Blue Sunshine. Rated R. Guess what? What? Guess what the producer and director of Joe have come up with now. Really? The first time mommy slaps his hands when he tries to play with his pee-pee. I get so excited. You know, you can go around the world for $30. It's only 15 in Buffalo. I ain't in Buffalo. That broad is a charter member of the Liberal Party. I just like it. Are you still a virgin, Robbie? Well, yes, darn it. How was that, sugar? Uh, isn't that rather a personal question? How do people have babies if they're not married? Maybe it goes back to the first no-no. Masturbation? I get so excited. What Joe did for the hard hats, guess what does for love? A canon production. A canon release. This is Wanda Bolt, internationally acclaimed sculptress. Mrs. Bolt has been commissioned by the United States government to create a tribute to her husband, Alex Bolt, Nobel Prize winner. She has created an 18-foot high marble statue, a perfect likeness from the tips of his fingers to the top of his head, accurate in every detail. <laughs> Oh, my God! No woman has ever immortalized her husband like this. But I will not, I repeat, not allow that thing to go on public exhibition in Grosvenor Square. Now, that's where the sculpture's going to be, right opposite the statue of Roosevelt. But that's only half the story. It's awfully good. Thank you. It's not even yours. The statue. Good old Ants. Even that is good old Ants. And suddenly, hello, Charlie! Who is Charlie? You're quite sure you put down all the gentlemen who visited my wife. And Harry, there are 30 names on that list, 30. Any one of them could be Charlie. I'll nail you, Charlie. Charlie, he looks like a statue. Charlie, he looks like a statue. This is you, self-portrait. And this is the statues. Exactly. Well, what do you want, the winner? I'll nail you, Charlie. When he's looking at you, you're out of your mind. Steam room cowboy. I'm gonna maim him, I'm gonna grind my peels into his eyeball, I'm gonna exterminate him. This is a winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. I'll nail you, Charlie. Charlie, I'd like to know Charlie. I've just been in conference with my president. Let me make myself perfectly clear. From here on, the entire resources of the United States of America are on the job. General, it's hardly a military problem. Legal? Her contract stipulates. What does the head of the CIA have to offer? Well, perhaps we put a tail on Mr. Bold. The statue is dedicated to the concept that all men are not created equal. I'll nail you, Charlie. The statue, starring David Niven, Verna Lisi, Robert Vaughn, Ann Bell. Charlie, I'd like to know Charlie. A fellow like Charlie. It's so hard to find. 
One monumental quality about the statue has to be seen to be believed. Charlie. Don't it make you want to go to war once more? What the hell for? The Cannon Releasing Corporation would like you to meet Joe. Money don't mean nothing to them. Motorcycles, marijuana. You got love, you don't need this stuff. Well, how do they fall in love? A hippie pimp. Lone Ranger. Cowboys and Indians. Hop along Cassidy. Not really fags, fags, but close. What he likes is to have a little on the side once in a while. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Growing and groove. Joe, do me a favor. Give us all a break. Hey, Joe. Don't it make you want to go to war? Once more. 100 milligrams of Thorazine in the butt does wonders. Get your pants on. It's your now, can't they? Easter Orgy. That's Jeff food. The best Chinese restaurant in Astoria. Your whole life is one big crocket. He doesn't shop at Kimball's, Joe. Junk is junk, right? Now let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Joe. Don't it make you want to go to war? Once more. These kids are getting more than we ever did. Just the credit cards, man. You think I'm chickens? This is my beauty. They're all screwed up, so they're screwing up the culture. We didn't make them feel old-fashioned like the kids make us feel old-fashioned. That's enough. Hey, why don't you get a haircut? <laughs> Maybe your buddy ought to stick to golf. From the <laughs> out. Call her the witch is out. Man, it's no good. It's a man. Come on. Get with a Pepsi generation. The crazy thing about Joe is that I could blackmail you. Can you just bomb me? You don't believe me? You never saw on grass before, huh? You've done a real groovy job on her. Come on, bitch. No, 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 you can't stop looking. You gotta keep looking. I like to look at it once in a while. You see the knife going in. You know, we get friendly when we infiltrate them. Oh, all my life, I ain't never been to an orgy. Uh, I hope I'm not out of line. You just beat the world speed record. You don't need to tell me. I see her on TV all the time. Look, she's a bum tripper. Oh, you're gonna kill me too. It's a humanitarian act. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Don't it make you want to go to war? Once more. Wolves, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> Starting last month, some cattle were killed. They belong to Larry Ludicky. Now he's been killed. And you know who did it? No. And it, it's not a who, it's a what. I think something is causing domestic dogs to pack and attack people. <laughs> Mind As the president sense, of this though. college, you have the responsibility of the lives of everyone here. Two people have been killed already. One of them a student. By what? It's terrible, yes, but you have no evidence it was done by dog. What the hell is that? Submerged for centuries, Atlantis, the lost continent, rises in mythological magnificence. Too bad. 
Meet Serena, conceived and spawned in a world beneath the waves. Mermaid majesty, drifting through dreamy depths. Fire in her eyes, love on her lips, desire in her heart. When will you mate? It is your destiny to mate with an outsider, not to love him. Underwater warriors in a savage struggle for survival. I will not sacrifice myself. You will mate! You will mate! Beyond dreams, beyond thought, beyond Atlantis. Astounding the imagination, ravishing the senses. The siren of the sea rising through rapture serene. Afloat on waves of pleasure. In a bed of pearls. The ancient army of Atlantis clashing with modern soldiers of science. Atlantis must conquer or die. A primeval princess leads her people from a kingdom beneath the sea to a blazing battleground above. Beyond Atlantis. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. There comes a time in every girl's life when she knows she's not a little girl anymore. Inga, at 16, at her coming of age, learns everything there is to know about love. I'd like to be alone like you, to do just what I want. This new dress is really something. I wonder what Mother would say if she saw you like this. She probably wouldn't like it. There comes a time when she has new interests, a new awareness in her mind, a new feeling in her body. What smells so good? Like it? It's nothing dangerous. You would like it. It's very relaxing, you know. This is my sister Inga. You know, Bjorn, he's a painter. Where's Kasten? I don't know. Kasten? Bjorn will be a very good influence on you. You know, he smokes, he drinks, oh, and he even... Uh... There comes a time in every girl's life when she knows she has so much to give. You have a great thing going, playing naive and innocent. But really, you're a little slut. That's not true. Excuse me, what do you call it? Good night. Good night. I'm sorry I acted like a child. There comes a time in every girl's life when waiting and wanting aren't enough. I don't what do you mean? I don't believe you're for real. What, like this? Did you wear it like that? Of course. Does everybody look at you? There comes a time in every girl's life when she can't escape growing up. There comes a time in Inga's life when she can't escape being loved. The first taste of love was a night that you'll never forget. Christina Lindbergh. The girl with them. You've seen her in Playboy. You've seen her in Penthouse. Now starring in Made in Sweden. In an unforgettable weekend in Stockholm, you'll see all of her. There comes a time in Inga's life when she becomes a woman. Made in Sweden. Rated X and then some. In this hospital, your next visit may be your last. All visitors, please leave the hospital. Ah! Dr. Len. Visiting hours.
was so frightening you may never recover. Starring Lee Grant, William Shatner, Linda Pearl. She devils. The devils burn. An explosive film. Absolutely brilliant. ABC TV. Superbly, frighteningly effective. Time magazine. But of course I can prove nothing. This Mother Superior may be little more than a hysterical nun. Exactly. Mere conjecture. <sighs> and what form does this incubus take? <laughs> the Devils is not a film for everyone. Vanessa Redgrave, Oliver Reed, in Ken Russell's film of The Devils. This picture has been rated X. No one under 17 admitted. Keep the faith in me, and you my man. You my favorite man. Can you take it, baby? Look at me. I don't know where we're sweet back here. Come on, boy, talk! Yes! The good thing, fairy godmother. Why didn't you know that all good things had fairy godmothers? Every dollar we make, the Guinness get 20, the police get 40, and Goldberg get 50. Anybody can tell you that don't add up to a dollar. That adds up to a dollar and a dime. No, I haven't seen him, sweetheart. I haven't seen the captain. I, mean, I, I don't want to see him. You just keep leaning and leaning and leaning. Get the f*** off of my back, man! I'm, I'm clean, man. Look, I'm clean. There's nothing there. Look, look! When I get pissed off, man, I will throw a nacho bone fit on, you understand? Leave! Split! Leave, mother! You offer pretty good news to me slapping up on some white cups. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm gonna say a black Ave Maria for you. Shiva is back in his greatest, most important role. Battered, oh, uh, abused, but always invincible. Sonny Shiva returns to prove he is one of the greatest martial arts uh, fighters of all time. The Street Fighter has a new image. The man of a thousand faces. What are you gonna do with us, officer? Lock us up with the garbage and throw away the key? New Line Cinema brings you Sonny Shiba in The Street Fighter's Last Revenge. Oh. 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 
Sonny Sheba, in one of his most challenging portrayals of the new Street Fighter, weaves a web of passion. Blood. An ultimate brutal revenge. This is the last time you'll see Sonny Sheba as the Street Fighter. A black, come on. And it's Sonny Sheba at his most spectacular. Nobody messes with the street fighter. No guns, no fists. No fighter can stop him. For one of the most violent and explosive experiences of your life. Don't miss Sonny Shiba in the Street Fighter's Last Revenge. Hey! Rated R. If you like the Chinese connection, enter the Dragon, the Return of the Dragon, and the real Bruce Lee, you are going to love the King of Kung Fu. He's back. And he's up to his old tricks. Just when you thought you had seen all of his films, he's back as the King of Kung Fu. Just when you thought you had seen everything there is in the martial arts, along comes the King of Kung Fu. With more different kinds of action than ever imagined before. Positively, absolutely, the greatest cast ever assembled in one motion picture, such as Yang Si. The Incredible Fruit. The Mad Monk. The Snake Man. The Possessed Demon of Kung Fu. The Shaolin Magician. Poison Fingers. The Incredible Ape. And countless others. And last, but not least, Abdul the Giant. The King of Kung Fu. Already an all-time classic. This is the film that others will be judged by. This is the ultimate muscle talk. And bullshit walk. He's back and he's up to his old tricks. In color, coming soon, rated R.
born on the day of the great fire cloud over the desert. All he wanted was a place in the new age. But they still believed the only good Indian is a dead Indian. Think the old chief's any good? He's an Indian, ain't he, Ned? Yes, sir. He's alive, ain't he? Yes, sir. And he's no good. God damn it, I said that's enough! It was now. Redskins no longer bit the dust. They just ate dirt. You hassle every Indian on this road? Nope. They pushed and shoved, squeezed and leaned, and leaned harder. Until they bought themselves an all-American one-man Indian massacre. <laughs> And then they knew what the word savage really meant. He made some points for himself in their army, but not enough to live next door. You're not in the army anymore. Now you're just another Indian. Or marry the mother of his child. Let's get married, Johnny. We can't. Johnny Firecloud. A hate story. I need fire cloud. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him or you're gonna kill him. Or he's gonna kill you. It don't make a damn bit of difference to you either way. Starring Victor Mojica, Ralph Meeker, David Canary, Frank Dikova, Christina Hart, Sasheen Littlefeather. Johnny Firecloud. Filmed in Panavision. Rated R. From EVI. Monster, a true story of a legend that becomes an unholy horror. Oh my God, is that an eye? I don't know. You must cleanse your sinful souls and drive out these evil creatures. Good. Film World magazine calls it the terror film of the year. Monster, starring Jim Mitchum, John Carradine, Phil Carey, and Andrea Hartford. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Miss Ginger McAllister, a girl of many talents. She's a special kind of secret agent, a girl who loves her work, and she's the best in her business. Now, she's back in action in the biggest ginger excitement of all. Girls are for loving. The preview you are about to watch is for a movie that is unlike any you have ever seen before. It is for a movie that goes beyond temporary fear to everlasting terror. It is a movie called Demons. Yes, the demons are coming, and they're coming for you. Warning, 
if you have the courage to see demons sit near an exit. Otherwise, you might never get out. In your theater, who will survive the touch of the demons and who will not? Demons. With music by Billy Idol, Motley Crue, The Adventures, Rick Springfield, and Saxon. This is no dream. This is happening right now. And it could be happening to you. Demons. They will make cemeteries their cathedrals. And the cities will be your tomb. Will you survive it? Demons. Underworld figure Salvatore Rocco was gunned down today by unknown assailants. Unconfirmed reports say that Rocco was involved in a large shipment of stolen drugs. Police report they're also seeking a Japanese woman, Rocco's longtime companion, who has also disappeared. All right, bring me to the drugs. <laughs> Faster than Ali, meaner than Bruce Lee, Sonny Chiba, the street fighter, is the dirty, mean murder machine in The Bodyguard. Sonny Chiba, the street fighter, is back as the meanest, bloodiest, most violent ass kicking, arm ripping mother yet. There are a lot of drugs. Corrupting our young, hurting us all. That's why I swear to you now, on my honor, that I will find the rest of the men responsible for this. I will smash them one at a time and put them all out of business. So, it's you. Say your prayers, fat man. After a vicious massacre of bloody revenge, Sonny Cheever, as the bodyguard, wastes ten armed hijackers at 30,000 feet. Cheever! Who else but Cheever could cop a million to guard the baddest, foxiest bodies from San Francisco to Tokyo? Cheever's women, bodies any man would die to guard. You will do what I say? The Bodyguard, starring Sonny the Street Fighter Chiba and a star-studded cast of international martial arts superstars, moves from the gutters of New York to the whore-infested back alleys of the Ginza. <laughs> It's your job to kill the bodyguard. Then I want you to take care of the girl. Terry Levine presents an Aquarius Films release of Sonny Chiba as the bodyguard in the most gut-ripping dynamite martial arts film ever made. Chi 
Chiba, Chiba. The Bodyguard, starring Sonny Chiba. If his kick doesn't get you, his fatal fist will. Rated it R. Thank <laughs> you.